Hi, I'm Dave Sudia from Ambassador Labs. We make tools that simplify your Kubernetes development experience, whether you're an app developer or platform engineer. Our core offering, Ambassador Edge Stack, is based on the CNCF project Emissary Ingress and operates as an API gateway that turns Envoy Proxy into an ingress for your cluster. This makes it easy for the platform team to set up security and hosts and for developers to configure routing to their apps. It also includes all the security features you need for the edge of your cluster, including authentication, rate limiting, and a web application firewall. Our other developer tool, Telepresence, puts your laptop into the cluster. You get to develop your app locally using your favorite IDE, debugger, and terminal without running 100 containers. Telepresence lets you speak directly to dependencies in your development cluster and receive requests from services in the cluster right to the version of the app running on your laptop for testing. And because you don't need an environment for every developer with Telepresence, it saves a ton of cost in the cloud. Also, fun fact, we were pioneers in the Kubernetes Ingress space, and we continue to be as we help steer the upcoming Envoy Gateway project based on the new Kubernetes Gateway API. You can find out more about how to simplify your Kubernetes experience and the future of Kubernetes Ingress by visiting our booth 010 at KubeCon or visiting getambassador.io. See you at KubeCon. Hello, I'm Omri Gazit, co-founder and CEO of Asserto. Asserto is a cloud native authorization platform. We help developers build fine-grained, policy-based, real-time access control. And at this KubeCon, we're launching version 0.30 of Topaz, our open source project, which represents the state of the art in cloud native authorization. It's unique in that it combines the best of Open Policy Agent and Google Zanzibar, the two best ideas over the last five years in the authorization space. Why should I care, you may ask? Well, turns out that access control is harder than everyone thinks. Don't take my word for it. Broken access control is the number one application security issues on the OWASP top 10 list. An astonishing 94% of applications that OWASP tests have some form of broken access control vulnerability, so it's easy to get it wrong. A platform like Asserto helps you get it right. Here's a second reason. I want to build permissions in RBAC, said no developer ever. It's toil. You don't build payments, use Stripe. You don't build text messaging, use Twilio. You don't build login, use Auth0. So why should you build RBAC? Instead, use Asserto because it's fast, flexible, and easy. Fast, we give you authorizations in under a millisecond. Flexible, it supports RBAC, ABAC, RBAC, all the BACs, as we say. Easy, we have SDKs in every language that make it really easy to integrate Asserto, as easy as calling an API. Come by booth M29 and learn more. And if nothing else, come pick up one of our cool Axolotl t-shirts. But do it early because they run out fast. See you there. Hi, everyone. This is Rick Bosworth with Sentinel One. Hey, Sentinel One is a cybersecurity platform company founded on the promise of AI to fundamentally change the cybersecurity market. We first disrupted user endpoint security, but then quickly expanded to identity and also cloud security. As a cloud native company ourselves, securing cloud workloads is one of our core competencies. It simply must be. Our core Cloud Workload Protection Platform, or CWPP, defends workloads in real time from runtime threats like ransomware, zero-day exploits, and fileless attacks. Now, we provide runtime security for workloads wherever they operate. That could be on-prem or in the public cloud, on VMs, containers, or even Kubernetes clusters. Now, we support 14 Linux distributions, three container runtimes, and both self-managed and managed Kubernetes services from the likes of AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. And the great news is our CWPP agent is completely built on the eBPF framework. 
This means we're creating significant advantages for you, namely operational stability, uh, resource efficiency, and kernel visibility without kernel uh, dependency hassles. So customers have latched onto these benefits with tens of millions of agents deployed worldwide. So come on by, please join us at booth P17. Our tech experts will be on hand to show you our solution in action. And as you'll see, we're not only detecting and stopping these runtime threats in real time, but we're also recording all of the workload telemetry to our petabyte scale security data lake. There, if and when there is a security incident, there is a forensic breadcrumb trail for security practitioners to follow to gain deep insights and drive faster, better, more precise security outcomes. So come see, we look forward to seeing you at booth P17. Welcome to the conversation. Hope everybody has an amazing show. Hi, my name is Martin Fon, and I'm a field CTO here at Cloud Casa. Cloud Casa is a software development company with a history spanning nearly 30 years in the data protection industry. Now, we all know that Kubernetes has changed the landscape tremendously in terms of data protection strategies to the point where your traditional backup software will not work with Kubernetes. And that's why we've developed our software as a service platform, which is also called Cloud Casa. Cloud Casa offers users the ability to backup restore and migrate their Kubernetes workloads between clouds with just a click of a button. Whether you're scanning in on-prem clusters or protecting clusters in cloud managed services like EKS or AKS or GKE, CloudCasa provides you with the functionality to not only protect those cloud native applications within those environments, but also allow you to build new clusters on the fly using our full stack recovery capabilities. And for those users already using popular open source backup software like Valero, we have Cloud Casa for Valero, which can help those users benefit from a multi-cluster manager with built-in role-based access control and centralized reporting and monitoring. Our latest announcement is users now have the option to use Cloud Casa in a self-hosted environment. So for all those users out there that may have shied away from using our software as a service because of security concerns or internet connectivity limitations, you can now host Cloud Casa on-prem in your own Kubernetes environment and bring the power of Cloud Casa to an environment that you can directly manage and control. Thanks for watching our video. And if you're going to be attending KubeCon in person, please feel free to drop by our booth for a discussion and demo of Cloud Casa. And be sure to enter our drawing and grab some free swag while you're there. Thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of your KubeCon 2023 here in Chicago, Illinois. Hi everyone, my name is Bob and I work for Bellsoft and this year we are server sponsors at KubeCon. I hope you enjoy this little clip that kind of gives you a little background on the company. Bellsoft is a major contributor to the OpenJDK project and Liberica JDK, our branded runtime, is the Java runtime of choice for VMware, Spring Framework, JetBrains IDE, the world's number one IDE, and millions of users worldwide. We also contribute to the, de the, to the development of Linux. Uh, this is dominantly through our Alpaquita Linux container. This is a, a distribution of Linux that was based on Alpine. We saw that Alpine was lacking a few very crucial pieces to be an enterprise ready product. And you know, to submit these changes to the platform, it would effectively change, uh, it would no longer be Alpine. So what we did was create Alpaquita Linux. And some of the core things that we did to uh, improve Alpine and create Alpaquita Linux in essence was two standard library options, Muzzle and Glibc. Uh, the base image for Muzzle is 3.28 megabytes, and for Glibc, it's 8.76 megabytes. The kernel user space hardening was added in as well. These are like some security features and core things that are needed to make a, a reliable Linux distribution. And it also comes with LTS enterprise support. Containers are actually a hot topic here at Bellsoft because we saw a lot of our customers were, were taking our JDK uh, 11 Lite version and effectively taking that as a microservice solution in the cloud. So we decided, okay, you know what, let's do this all in one and provide our customers with a full container 
that they can take. It comes with the Linux distribution, Alpakita. It comes with our JDK 11 Lite uh, runtime. All you have to do is bring your application, and then it's a working solution that can go right from your application servers or anything you have in the data center right into the cloud. Bellsoft never uh, stops contributing to open source in many ways, and we're always raising the level of your satisfaction with the development journey. We are the only OpenJDK vendor currently that provides every single version of Java, Java 6 and 7. We offer uh, what we call the native image kit. This is a, uh, a dis this is a runtime based on the Graal VM compiler. And our platform, Liberica JDK, provides a unified Java experience across the organization, from your runtimes, your containers, to the future thought process using the native image kit. We are delivering a more secure, reliable, and cost-effective approach to application development on any platform and in any environment. Liberica JDK Performance Edition, for example, is currently available on JDK 11 and to be available on JDK 8 as well in the near future, effectively takes the hotspot from JDK 17 entirely and plops it right into JDK 11 and soon to be JDK 8, effectively allowing your organization to stay on JDK 8 or 11 but still benefit from the enhancements and performance of JDK 17. Uh, Performance Edition is available in our Alpakita containers, which is critical for enterprise cloud-based adoption for Java applications. Visit us at bell-sw.com, or even better, come visit us at the KubeCon booth this year, 2023 in Chicago. Thank you, everybody. My name is Bob. I'm from Bellsoft. Hi, I'm Stephen Chin, VP of Developer Relations at JFrog and elected representative on the CNCF Governing Board. And um, excited to be at KubeCon where the conversation has shifted from whether you're using cloud native development and deployment to how do you secure your cloud native environments. And I think this is an important paradigm shift because it shows the great adoption of Kubernetes and how cloud native development has become a standard in the industry. But it also emphasizes how SolarWinds, Log4Shell, and other critical vulnerabilities have really shaped our ecosystem and have put a lot of focus on how we can secure ourselves from those and other zero-day vulnerabilities which are coming out on a regular basis. At JFrog, we are best known for JFrog Artifactory, which is the leading package manager supporting over 30 different package types. And this also is a great central place to secure and manage your releases. We have release lifecycle management, which allows you to sign and verify at every step in your DevOps pipeline. JFrog Advanced Security, which gives you some of the best security capabilities from developer all the way through to production. And our newly announced JFrog Curation, which takes security farther to the left than even developers, um, giving you a firewall where you can prevent vulnerable packages from even entering your organization. We're going to be at KubeCon again this year, exhibiting. Very excited to see you. Happy to show a demo of those capabilities, plus our new MLOps platform, our new SAS scanning capabilities. And um, this will be another exciting year for great announcements and new capabilities coming out at KubeCon. So look forward to seeing you at KubeCon Chicago.